There may have been more celebrated names in the all-conquering United side of the 60s, but very few players had more bottle than Paddy Creran. When Paddy Creran played well, Manchester United played well. He really was the midfield general and he could spray passes from the centre of the pitch in either direction. He was just such an important part of that team. Paddy used to make the team tick. Everything used to go through him. He had a lovely sweet left foot as well. Now, can Perron do it? A goal, that's a beautiful goal. Aston. Oh, a good bit of football by Aston to Perron. To Sane, is this number four? Yes! Mr. Perfect. His reading of the game, his perception, he could put a ball on a, on a sixpence. He could pick a player out 40, 50 yards away. And as well as that, he was hard as nails. If he wanted to mix it with him, he certainly could mix it with you, you know. And Ashes has been, he's been caught, and out comes the new book this time, I think. And Creran is in trouble. Creran has done Ashes. And tempers at breaking point now. He wouldn't let anybody kick George. If they did, they knew where they were. Although he wasn't captain, he was, he was like the leader of the team. He led the team uh, from, from back to front um, because he covered a lot of ground, even though he didn't have a lot of pace. Paddy had lots of energy and he, he, he led the team for me. If he'd not been there, we wouldn't have seen anything like the amount of um, quality from Bess, Law and Charlton. Definitely an unsung hero and provided so many opportunities for the, the more glamorous players. Fair and true for Best. Here he goes again. Georgie Best. Even some of the international European players at the moment, you look back and you say, they, they weren't as good as Pac Rand. He got the other players going around him. He, ne he never let people relax and he was always on the go. Great. 